Hello everybody, this is Bud. This video will be about fixed sys. Everything that you would like to know about fixed sys will get explained in this video. And possibly a couple of things that you would not like to know, but I will tell you them anyways. Um, fixed sys is a font. It's the font that I use here. You can see fixed sys, you can see it in the i3 title tab things here and the, it's the same font here it's the same font here and guess what it's the same font down here and in the menu i use it everywhere it's my favorite font even here in Qt browser in this uh, thing here um, and of course these are all uh, different ui libraries frameworks whatever you want to call it you know this is your xvt the terminal and these tabs and stuff here those are from i3 and this is gtk2 and uh, Qt browser is Qt, as you might have guessed, you know, and you need to set it up in all of them. And we will not talk about that, how to do that, but we will talk about fixed sys, how to get that working, because it's not the most straightforward uh, thing in the world. First, I think uh, that we need to figure out how to get uh, fixed sys. Also, the reason here uh, why we do this is because uh, it was asked, as you can see, on the i3s discussions. Um, Dominic have asked here how to lock the size of fixed sys because that is something I know I have mentioned maybe quite recently in a video that I to, to get this working you need to lock the the size we get back to this but that is this is the starting point here this uh, question and um, I replied with the solution to that uh, query but I also explained that there, there is a lot more to it when when you want to use uh, fixed sys uh, and here, this stuff here, this is actually a, an old blog post that I just republished here in, in, in this answer that I wrote once. And I have taken that blog down, but here, this is the content of that article, so to speak. Um, how to get fixed is working. It links to a bunch of uh, askubuntu.com things and stuff like that here. But uh, yeah, we get to all of that. The last post here, I guess, is the most interesting one because it have a bunch of links related to uh, fixed sys. And why not start with a Wikipedia article here? So, fixed sys. Microsoft, Bitstream, Windows 1. It was the original system UI font in Windows 1. Uh, which was uh, released, uh, I believe, 1985, and the font itself was created in 1984. So it's 37 years old, uh, this font, fixed sys. Um, then I don't know the details here, uh, because it was uh, created by this company, Bitstream Incorporated. Um, and maybe it uh, the font was uh, acquired by Microsoft, or maybe it was uh, ordered from, from the start by Microsoft, uh, ordered it from Bitstream, and then they Microsoft later acquired uh, uh, the font. So, so the property belongs to Microsoft. They own this font and the copyright of it. Uh, fixed sys, that is. Um, family of raster monospaced font, and originally it was a... a, a a bitmap font. Uh, okay, here's an example, as, and as we can see, it looks exactly like the text in my terminal here is represented here. Um, so yeah, it's a Microsoft font, and it isn't really available. Fixed sys, you cannot get that from anywhere really. You have to get the, uh, the Windows versions and get get it um, the installed versions from there, you know. And it's not impossible to, to get hold of a old Windows version and, and uh, extract the, the font from there, convert it to a TTF, stuff like that, that can be done and that has, be do has been done. Um, <clears throat> so that's the story behind fixes. But you can get it from AUR apparently. Here is a package called TTF Fixes Excelsior. Uh, we can see that it gets this this font font from a GitHub repository here, Kika slash fixed sys. It's also linked here, uh, by the way. So here we have a repository explaining explaining that uh, the font was originally authored by Darian Valentin, uh, also known as Bathos. <laughs> so this guy originally uh, uh, authored this font. I have a hard time believing that this guy originally developed this font back in 1984, but 
who am I to judge, you know? Uh, but the, the, I know I know the whole thing here. Uh, it's he provided a font called FixedSys Excelsior, and that was available here on FixedSysExcelsior.com, uh, and this is where I got my FixedSys from years ago. But as you can see, the the uh, website is uh, down; it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but you can actually find it on on the Wayback Machine as a snapshot, and I have that linked here as well. So this is how that uh, site used to look. And here we can see the last release was 2007. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly why this uh, website was taken down. Maybe he just didn't want to pay for it anymore. Or maybe he was uh, contacted by Microsoft saying, hey, you know, that, that font, that little font you got there, that is actually our font. Uh, and, uh, you know, they make no secret that it is fixed sys that uh, this font is based on. But it is also a completely different font because this is a, a true type font. It's um, and true type fonts um, and modern fonts in general, they are not bitmaps. It's not just one pixel, blah blah blah. They are vector graphics uh, under the hood, you know. And this font, Fixus Excelsior, is that. It's a vector font. So, so he he, um, he reworked that original. Uh, fix this font and I know that because you can uh, read about it in the fact here Which is a quite nice little read if, if you have the time to, to read this stuff here um, Let me just make a little break here All right. Yeah, this is a fact whatever you can read about it there. There is also this image that displays um, all the additions that he have also done. It's not just that it's a vector version of fixed this it's um, it also have a lot of additional characters and the rework, the, the character sets and stuff like that. So uh, support for more or less any, every language except um, uh, CJK languages, I believe. There is no Japanese or Chinese uh, 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 versions as far as I know. But a lot of stuff here, even like uh, uh, old uh, Rune <laughs> uh, script is, is available here. Runic. Um, but for, uh, page is taken down and now uh, superseded by this uh, version of Fixus Excelsior. So this, what you get here, is based on that uh, that thing there. But it gets a bit weird here because the, in the readme, the creator of this content, I, I guess that is this content, have released it to the public domain. Hooray, hooray. So it is under public domain. Uh, but if your jurisdiction uh, doesn't permit usage of public domain stuff, it is released under Creative Commons Zero Dedication. Hooray! It's like everyone can use this, you can use it for free, you can redistribute it, you can rename it, you can sell it, you can buy it if you want to from yourself, if you think that's a good idea. It's excellent! How great isn't that? It's like more free than, than freedom in a way. But uh, <laughs> I don't know how that works. And there is also no reference to uh, the license that uh, Bathos had here. Uh, there is no license information anywhere here as far as I can uh, see. Uh, but, but something tells me that I think Microsoft <laughs> actually owns uh, this font, you know. And you cannot just make that... Uh, uh, public domain, even if you change it from, from bitmap to, to vector based, you know, it doesn't work like that. Uh, so I, I am a bit um, uh, um, cautious here uh, about this font <laughs> because I, I think it, I'm not 100, whatever, you see what I'm getting to here. It's a bit weird. I don't think this is really valid, uh, this public domain Creative Commons zero dedication here. Uh, this is also updated uh, from that, what we found here, uh, in this version, there is also this stuff added. Uh, yeah, you see, I, I, I cannot pronounce it, ligatures, I think that's that's the word. Um, okay, um, and you can get the font from here, or from AR of course, but you can also just go to the release page here on GitHub, and then you can grab the, the TTF files from here. So let's do that. Uh, let's grab this one and save link. And you will say, see here, it will ask if I want to save it here to homebuild TMP fixed sys. That's fine. Do that. 
thank you. It's downloaded and we can open that directory here. So TMP fixed sys. There it is. This is the file we downloaded. Uh, because I want to show you here how you can uh, install fonts uh, manually. You don't really have to use AUR for this. And in one way, it's almost good to do it like this. Uh, install them. Uh, because AUR install, installs it uh, system wide. But you can also install them just for the current user by placing them in a specific directory in the home directory. So if I copy this file, select it, control C, and then uh, we have this directory, home directory dot local slash share slash fonts. This is a place where you can place uh, your own fonts, you know. So now we added it here and now it is basically installed, but it is uh, very much uh, recommended that you do this or you should really do this and I really have to do this FC cache if we do FC cache it will just reload the font cache and now we should have this installed uh, font if I do FC dash list and then we can grep for fixed sys here frep well, grep there now it prints here that i have two uh, uh, matching fonts here and one is this fixed fixed sys and that is my own modified version of fixed sys and then we have the one that we just installed here fsex302 but this is what i why i wanted to do this this is the actual name of the font this is just a file name that is never important at all what you need to know is this name and, and it will be the same if you do a system install. It's, it's a good idea to, to use this to figure out what the name of the font is. Because if I would like to use this font uh, in a configuration file or something, I have to name the font, you know. And then you cannot write FSEX302. It will do not know which font you mean. You have to write it write the actual name here, which is FixedSys Excelsior. Um, so to see if our uh, fixes Excelsior works here, we can use uh, URXVT and open a new window with this font. And then you, you do this XFT colon fixed sys Excelsior. There. God damn it. <laughs> Shouldn't work. Uh, because it looks like it worked fine here now, I can see it. Or maybe not. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Sorry, sorry for... Uh, if we do this, man i3 get. I just like to use this as a demo here. So this brings up the manual page for man page for i3 get, one of the i3 as commands. Let's put that uh, window there for reference and then we can open a new terminal and there we just do urxvt. Because I have a fixed fixed sys is my default terminal font. If we do man i3 get here, you can see they look different. They look different. They, this one looks a bit off. And this is the one we just installed. Um, could try to, with a different font size, size equals 11. Still looks weird. Maybe a little bit better, but still it, it just looks off. Um, I think 12 is what we had before. And this, it almost looks nice, you know, but the font, there is too much spacing between the characters and it's just not a usable font uh, in, in, in a terminal context like this. I think it looks just off. And this is what you get with that uh, Excelsior version there. The reason for this is that, um, or I, I, I'm not actually sure what the reason is, um, but I know what the solution is. Because I rem remember way back in the day <clears throat> when I wrote this uh, article and stuff like that, I, I, I saw this and I was like, what's wrong here? Uh, searched online for a bit and then I found this article on Ask Ubuntu where someone was having trouble getting this working on the GNOME terminal. Uh, and the reason was that uh, this uh, fixed sys Excelsior, uh, it, it is actually not monospaced. It have a different width on these different uh, characters. I'm not sure if it is like different alphabets might have different width on the characters and stuff like that. And 
apparently GNOME Terminal gets uh, borked out by that. Um, and when reading this, it says something here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, it's a, this is the question. Here, here is the answer. Uh, because here someone is using FontForge, uh, which is a really cool uh, application that, that you can use to edit font and create your own fonts and stuff. Uh, and, uh, manip and he manipulates this uh, Fixtures Excelsior. Uh, it also says here, download the correct Fixtures Excelsior font file. And if you click this link, it will take you here to this launchpad thing from 2008 it was started but the last reply is actually just uh, a year ago 2019 12 12 here is the last uh, reply uh, and there are some attached files here uh, we can download these as well now we have this zip file i downloaded from here and those are i'm not 100 percent sure anymore because as you can see this is a mess there are so many different versions and stuff here and Microsoft and Lisa public domain and stuff like that. It's super weird all of this uh, But these files Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember what the difference between these and, and, and the ones uh, we can get from here and and from here are But this is a thing as well. All of it is linked here uh, Links to everything is here uh, What's interesting is this this stuff here because if you follow this guide then fixed sys will just look fine and that is what my fixed fi fixed sys is this just uh, uh, the version you could download from here this one but with those patches applied and i have kept this fixed sys i have it uh, on a backup or i have several backups of this because i'm, I'm really scared that uh, since this site got defunct you know i i, I just don't want to lose my fixed sys font file here so i i keep uh, it's precious to me and I have also uh, that's why I've written down all, all of the steps here myself I have a backup of this in case that ask Ubuntu here goes defunct or whatever because I will <laughs> always use fixed sys for as long as I can at least um, so um, I thought let's le let's do this uh, little guide here uh, it's both here and and it's uh, I have more or less copy pasted it uh, here we need to install FontForge uh, and now we have to do something that I'm not super happy about but uh, yeah I guess we can also do this now uh, if we open Alex appearance here just to make everything uh, clear here and um, then we change the system font to this fixed sys excelsior uh, now you can see there is almost it's very difficult to see the difference but something happens with the text there I, i'm not sure if it applies some kind of anti-aliasing effect here or whatever is going on but now i can change uh, the size of the font um, and you see it doesn't look good in any font size 12 is the default one or the, the one that works uh, 13 it gets fussy this kind of works but it's it, believe me it doesn't look good and if you would apply this font you see it looks well this one actually kind of worked but it is believe me it only one of them works it's it's still fussy here and, and stuff like that you want font size 12 and now we are using that uh, the one that we downloaded and it it works fine in my opinion for as a system font when it doesn't need to be monospaced it's when you need, need it to be monospaced in a terminal, then it gets weird. Uh, and that's why you want to apply these patches. So, whatever. Um, and also, you can see that I think he makes a, a comment about it here. Um, yeah, this guy makes a comment that I, uh, I could, um, could distribute this font. Uh, but I don't wanna because um, I don't know about the, how, how the license for, for it works, you know. Uh, and I think he's right about, uh, about that. Um, it's not like I'm afraid that... Yeah, here I think it is. Uh, before you ask why you don't make the resulting font available, the answer is because I'm not sure I can do so. 
font copyright, copyright is an intricate, intricate matter, and it is. And spe spe specifically if it's like Microsoft that owns the copyright, you should kind of be careful with this stuff. I don't think like you, I would get in trou trouble if I posted this uh, modified version, but at the same time, why even mess with it, you know? Uh, but I think it's it's legal and fine to show how you can do this. Uh, I think so. I hope so. Uh, but if I'm breaking any laws here, uh, please let me know and I will take this video down and uh, make a public uh, <laughs> excuse, whatever. But I downloaded this, uh, which is released under the public domain, you know, FEX302. That's what we have here. Let's make a backup of that. Just copy it and paste it again. Uh, call this one mod. There, now we have a mod version because we will modify that. And to do that, we will uh, use FontForge. You can open the web page for FontForge. You see, that's a really the uh, cool pro program. Uh, it's a, like a vector program, but you can do uh, you can set all the properties and do do. It's a professional font uh, editing software, um, and you can find it in the official repo repositories for uh, in Arch or and. Uh, Debian or and other distributions, of course. So sudo pacman s for install and then font forge. Now you will see why I don't want to do this, but I will do it and anyways for science because it it have GTK three as a dependency. I I don't want to have GTK three installed, but I will do this now. I I just don't want to go through the hassle that it would be to find a version that uses GTK2 because there probably exists one, but whatever, let's just do this now. Uh, there, now everything is installed and uh, that means we can now open FontForge if we wanted to. It's probably also visible here in graphics. There it is, FontForge. But just to stick to the guide here, uh, and also because I'm not 100% sure, um, we do exactly what they say in this guide. Right click on the font and let's uh, let's use our modified version here. So I right click on that and I select open with FontForge. And you get this strange window here and this strange window here um, and this strange window here. <laughs> um, Open with Font for Forge. In the load bitmap fonts window that appears, click no. So that is this. We click no. We don't read. We, we just do. Uh, now we have, um, yeah, as you can see, this is the font here. And you can open, uh, you can click on them and see uh, and edit edit the, the individual glyphs and everything. It's a, it's a very advanced uh, powerful uh, program this FontForge and it's been around since forever okay next step click on file which is this execute script which is here and copy paste the following so this is like a script you, you can script uh, uh, the manipulation of the glyphs and stuff like that so I, I'm not sure exactly what this script does here uh, but uh, uh, let's just stick to the guide. Uh, then select FF, which is this. And I guess that means that you can either paste like a Python script or a FontForge uh, script. Uh, and click OK. We click OK. It will take a while, it's say. You will have to wait until the execute script window disappears. There, it disappeared. Uh, click element font info uh, in ps names which is this tab here change the font name font family name and name for humans you can append mono or something like that but let's just uh, call it uh, fixed mod or whatever doesn't matter here you can this is the name of the font you know so i guess it's important uh, if you want to whatever we change the different the three different names to the same thing um 
spaces are allowed only in the second and third string, so not for the actual font name here, but we name them the same thing. In the same font information window, which is this, uh, select OS2, of course, you know. Uh, in the MISC tab, change the PFM family to monospace. We are there and PFM family monospace. Okay, we don't do this. In the Panos tab, change proportion to monospace. Panos, proportion, monospace. Okay, in the same font information window, select lookups. Find it there. Uh, in the G sub and G post tab, select each line uh, in turn and click delete. So you are supposed to do this and this, but you can select multiple by holding shift and, and yeah, you know, the usual multi select thing there. So you delete everything in, in these tabs. Um, in the same font information window, click OK. And in the change unique ID window that appears, <coughs> click change. Uh, if you want to, you can tweak one or more uh, questionable features of fixed sys. For example, the zero character is shifted one pixel to the right. Uh, but I actually think that is fixed in this version. Um, so let's just skip this, because when I open this, it says you, you should double click it, but it doesn't look like this is shifted to the right. I don't think it is uh, anymore, so whatever, let's skip that. But you can uh, apply more changes to, to the fonts here, um, or to the glyphs. Uh, click element, uh, bitmap strikes available, there, okay. Uh, then in the window that appears, set pixel sizes to 16. That's here, 16. And click OK. OK. Uh, click File, Generate Fonts. File, uh, uh, Generate Fonts. Then it asks us for a path here. And I guess, uh, let's just generate it to the same directory. Um, so that's in local. Uh, by the way, here you might have to enable show hidden files from this uh, thing here. <coughs> Share fonts. And then we can save it here. Fixed mod uh, will be the automatic name. Here you might have to change this into true type if it's not set here. So be sure that is uh, enabled. Um, make sure output is true type and then it's a click save but it's actually generate here and then uh, in the non-standard em size window this thing um, that appears click yes okay uh, in the errors detected window that appears click uh, save or generate don't worry there and now it have generated a new font file for us here fixed mod it's uh, appeared here as you can see and now we can quit uh, uh, quit this window so we we used let's see where is it this one you can see that's the file that's open here fsex302 mod but it generated a new font file for us here uh, and we don't save the changes here to the font font we were uh, manipulating or anything. So quit and don't save. And now we have a new fixed version of fixed sys. And if we now do fc cache again here just to be sure everything is working. And then we uh, do an fc list and <coughs> grep fixed. Uh, yeah, just fix them. Don't remember. Fixed mod is our new font here. Uh, I think this is a human name. I'm, I'm not sure. Mm, excuse me. Now, when you have this, uh, you can use it with, for example, your XPT here, fn uh, and then xft colon fixed mod. Open that. 
man i3 get and now it looks uh, correctly uh, or nice so that is what you have to do to, to use this font in my opinion you have to do these modifications to it and uh, just as uh, the author here uh, writes that he don't want to distribute this file because he, he's not sure about the legal <laughs> licensing uh, stuff there uh, i i feel the same way so i i will never distribute these uh, fonts but just follow the guides here, either just follow this or fo or this video or whatever, you know, and then you get uh, a version. But uh, uh, to cycle back here to the beginning, even with this modified uh, version, it still uh, only works in a specific, in specific font sizes. Uh, it's actually detailed best here in this um, fac. Uh, what those font sizes are, uh, but they are 16 pixels or uh, 12 points here, and it's important. It it only works in these sizes or multiplications uh, of them. So uh, 24 points uh, or 32 pixels would work as well, but you get a very large uh, font. Other font sizes it, they work since it is a, a vector font, you know, a, a TTF. It's not a bitmap font. Uh, so it will try to scale it and, and you will get, it, it will work in quotation marks, uh, but it will not look good. Uh, and to make sure that you all, that, that it always gets rendered in the exact same uh, size, you need to add uh, some, some additional rules to your font uh, config. And I, that's what I pasted here. So I recommend you add this uh, or a modification modified version of it with the correct names of course because here I have fixed fixed sys and stuff like that you have to name it the same as as your font uh, the same as uh, this you know uh, because then you can set up rules here to say that if the pixel size is not equal to 16 set the pixel size to 16 but also a note here that we also have the size. So size is in points, but pixel size is in pixels. And this is uh, like a different thing in, its, in itself, you know, these points and pixel and whatever. But this works. Uh, and if you do this, the, the uh, GUI applications will never um, can't even as, uh, display the font in a different size. Just as we could see there with uh, LX Appearance. Uh, if it works, you can test that it works, that it doesn't change when you try this. Uh, our fixed mod here, that's, we still haven't added any rules for that, so that you can change the size for it. Uh, and it, it's not like it looks completely borked out and broken, but it is. Uh, you don't want this, believe me. Uh, it will also, I also have in my settings here, uh, similar things for for uh, bold fonts so if an application tried to display it in bold it it uh, just resets that to normal and i find that uh, useful as well because bold version of fixes doesn't look good in my opinion uh, but that is uh, one thing that i think they have added here in in these files uh, it looks like uh, if you download this which we actually did there but I think that in this zip here, uh, two font, fonts will uh, be included, one regular and one bold one, but they have the same content, just uh, different variants somehow. Uh, and that means that you don't need, uh, it will always uh, display uh, uh, the font in a regular way, what, whatever. Uh, whatever you find is easiest to do and maybe you even accept the font the bold version because it it's not like the bold version is is broken uh, it's it just doesn't look good i i prefer never s seeing it uh, but some people really like to have a bold font available in terminals and i think that is also one thing that we fix that is uh, getting fixed there with with fontforge is that the originally all the bold bold characters are actually one pixel wider than the normal version and that is why it doesn't work uh, why it's not accepted as a monospace font uh, this this script and stuff here it forces all characters to have the exact same width and that might also have uh, like a negative effect on, on some of those uh, foreign characters and whatever but it works for me and it, it looks much better and it's, it becomes a usable font when you apply all of these uh, uh, fixes.
Um, there is also someone here. I, I'm not sure if you can download this. It's a mega link, but let's see. We click it. Sure, I accept everything. I don't care anymore. Yeah, here is uh, here is also a file, and this file I guess uh, have those patches applied, the FontForge patches applied here. So you could download this file as well, but you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about any of this, uh, if any of it is legal, uh, like 100%, but it's also like, I I don't think you, you should worry if you're using fixed sys that like uh, some alphabet organization is knocking on your door and saying, hey, what's that system font you're using there, kid? <laughs> don't worry about it, but uh, don't, don't, also don't uh, uh, create like... Uh, <laughs> A repository and saying that this is distributed under a different license that it actually has you know and stuff like that but this this might actually be dangerous or dangerous but you could get in trouble doing this this guy is living on the edge by doing this that's that's what i believe uh, and also i don't know maybe this guy knows uh, what happened to to the original fixes excelsior this page you know uh, I have actually thought about uh, trying to get get in contact with him and see if if, if that is the case, uh, because there is this weird thing here. I, I, I'm going to test it, and this is an image. That's interesting. Uh, so down here is like a address to an uh, IRC IRC server uh, and a fixed sys channel. I, I'm not sure if this guy is active there, but if he is, I, I will try to get in contact with him and see if. It is what I suspect happened, uh, that uh, Microsoft actually contacted this guy and told him, hey, you know, that font you got there, it's it's ours. Um, would be great if you just didn't do that. <laughs> and that could happen with this guy as well. I don't know. But uh, if you if you like fixed sys, uh, get it while you can. That's That's something I can tell you from experience. And I'm happy that I have all my backups and all this stuff written down and uh, stuff like that. And now it's also on YouTube, so now you can uh, use this as a guide to, to get fixed sys. And it is a great font. It is too small, in my opinion, to use as a programming font. Uh, but it's perfect for title bars, like uh, monitor uh, terminals like this. Um, but I don't want to read like large chunks of text in it, and I think it's a bit small for for programming. I, as as you know, I prefer a large font. This is uh, Go Mono, by the way, is what I use in in Sublime here. I think, think that's the the best font uh, for programming. Whatever. I, also, it, it doesn't matter. This is just like aesthetic preferences personal preferences who who cares you know use whatever you think is 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 best but maybe this uh, i don't know maybe you can use this method here that we the font forge uh, hack stuff there uh, to um, make other fonts uh, better for terminals or whatever I, i'm not sure i have never tried this with anything else but this seems to to be working so i stick with that Thank you for watching everybody and thank you Dominique for this uh, question here. I'm glad that you are using the discussion board here. It's actually the first uh, post not made by myself here. Uh, uh, whatever, let's not talk more about that. Um, but this is where it's located now. I will link this uh, discussion post thread thing here in the show notes. And if this discussion post thing changes uh, the, the URL to it, because it might change in the future, I have, have some thoughts about this, uh, then I will change the link in the show note as well. I, or <laughs> I will try to remember to do that. Uh, but if I haven't, uh, make a comment on this video in the future and say, hey bud, you said that you would change the link, but you didn't, and then I will do it. Probably, maybe. Whatever. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.